Hello, censoring YouTube. Yeah, it's been a while. So I want to provide a few thoughts on this Israeli-Gaza conflict, Israeli-Hamas, or Israeli-Iran, or Israeli-Hezbollah. It's all connected. You know, this has been going on for ever. Forever. But I'm tired of people like Roger Waters from Pink Floyd, used to be the old lead singer of Pink Floyd, very vocal about this whole thing, and a whole bunch of other unintelligent people that don't know their history. If anybody knows the history, you will find out that in the Holy Scriptures, which you can say you don't believe, and that's fine, but the scriptures that the Muslims and the Jews and the Christians all rely on and put faith in clearly states that the boundaries for Israel given to them by God were all the way from the Mediterranean to the great river Euphrates, which is all the way in Iraq. That was Israel's land given to them by God. Okay? Okay. Fast forward through the timeline, we see what happens. The Romans come in, the Roman Empire destroys Israel, or the land anyway. Then you keep fast forwarding, then you get Hitler, and he did what he did. And he scattered the Jews everywhere, and Israel had no more homeland. In May of 1948, the United Nations and other countries all agreed that Israel was to have their homeland. This included the area currently known as Palestine, which there is no actual Palestine people. There's no country called Palestine. So Israel had that land. Then in 1967, the Arab nations gathered together and tried to wipe out Israel. Six-day war. Israel pummeled them. Defeated all these Arab nations. Won the victory. And they took land that the Palestinians tried to take. Israel re retook it. Now, what they did is they let the Palestinians stay there. They run water there. They run electricity there. And they let the Palestinians have that land. Kind of a compromise to end the war. So the lines were drawn. United Nations and such. And Palestinians got to have Gaza and that area around there. Now ever since then, you've had Hamas and Hezbollah and Iran. And the Palestinians, Palestinian Authority trying to wipe out Israel. They want all of the land. So what's happening is as Palestine, the Palestinians keep growing in their area of what they're called Palestine, they're trying to take up more and more space, more and more land. Well, there's a prophecy that the Jewish people would return home to Israel in preparation for the coming of the Messiah. We are seeing that take place. There are Jews coming back to Israel in droves. And what's happening is Israel needs more land. They need more of their own land that God gave them back. So yes, they were going in and they were evicting Palestinians from this neighborhood so that they can build more settlements for the Jewish people, which is their right to do. It's their land. So in response to that, Hamas started firing rockets at Israel, and now Israel is beating the crap out of them. And they have every right to do so. My question is, if the Arabs care so much about the Palestinians, then how come they don't take them in? How come they don't take the Palestinian people that are living there and take them into their countries. Divide them all up. Spread them all up. 
No, they don't want them because they don't care about the Palestinian people. They really don't. And for those of you who don't know, the Palestinians were offered a Palestinian state several times since the year 2000. Several different times. And they turned it down every single time because it did not include the destruction of the state of Israel. The Jewish people provide resources to the Palestinians. In fact, just yesterday, there was a report that the Jewish people were running first aid supplies and other necessities over to Gaza to help the Palestinian people. Now, what enemy in war does that? But Israel's doing that. The Palestinians could have a state if they really wanted it. But they don't want a state. What they want is Israel wiped out as a state. Because they are God's chosen people. That's what's going on. And this has been ha happening for decades and decades and decades and decades. This goes all the way back to the beginning. So for people that aren't informed, please clamp it until you get informed. Don't get your emotional pleas on YouTube and everywhere screaming about how bad the Jews are or all your anti-Semitic hatred. Talking about how they don't have a right to be bombing Gaza and doing what they're doing. Yeah, they're defending themselves. In America, if somebody started lobbing 3,000 missiles and rockets at us, what, do we sit there and do nothing? Even if they said, yeah, but that's our land that you're on. Oh, okay. Do we sit there and let them do it? No, we're going to fight back and we're going to destroy you just like we did on 9-11. Israel has every right to defend itself. And people need to get informed before they start spouting off. Check the history, check the dates, check the facts. Thanks for watching.